Aloha, and welcome to part 6 of Mega Man X6. I hate this game. Uh, I'm not going to show all of Infinity Maginion stage again, but I did want to show you when you destroy the robot with zero spinning attack. Holy shit, how quickly was that? So instead of going to the crystal and going to the alternate pathway, we'll go the other way, save this one Reploid, and now we're going to face with Infinity Maginion. Yeah, the level's that short. Literally, once you beat the robot, you just walk right, and boom, there it is. It's pretty retarded, I must say. Huh? Weren't you dead? You heard Ron. You are Infinity Virginian, one of the investigators for the Nightmares, aren't you? Are the other investigators useless fleas? That's the only explanation as to why I have to clean up their messes. But wait, why are you here anyway? Don't tell me you destroyed my sweet Illumina! What do you think? Maverick, I haven't even tested her! And I was thinking that I'll destroy all the thick-headed so-called authorities with her. You will die! Infinity Maginion is one of the hardest Mavericks in Mega Man X6, if not the hardest Maverick in X6. Okay, he's fucking hard, okay? <laughs> the point is, his weakness is supposedly Guard Shell, but I don't even know how it works against Guard Shell. Commenters, feel free to show me a, p a video response or something and show how to effectively fight this guy. What makes Infinity Maginion so goddamn annoying to fight is the fact that he has so many clones of himself that he loves to reproduce. His clones create bubbles which don't get cut down in one slash. And sometimes when you fight this guy, he'll be like five or six clones hanging around. I had a lucky run somehow and I just... I kicked ass, that's all. I guarantee, I tell you, this is the luckiest run of Infinity Maginion I've ever had. I just stayed to the left and attacked him every time he came near me. But usually I have a hard ass time fighting this guy. He usually creates so many clones, and he just, he's a real pain in the ass. But I digress, Infinity Maginion is dead. Uh, I would suggest probably playing the level with X, because he has more armor than Zero does, but really... I didn't care, because Zero's offense is really great for taking out the bubbles and the clones, and X's C Saber, not so much. By defeating Infinity Maginion, X gets to shoot a laser arrow thing that is an okay projectile, and Zero gets this special ultimate move where if you push R2, he shoots a flurry of lasers down from the sky and blows the, th the shit out of everything on screen. And uh, it, the reason I took on Infinity Maginion first before I took on Blaze Heatnix is because I need this ability for Blaze Heatnix. I fucking need it. But uh, you won't know why I'll need it until part 7. Till then, we're gonna be going after Metal Shark Player in the Recycle Lab. He couldn't just have been Mel Metal Shark, he had to be Metal Shark Player, didn't he? <laughs> I don't get these random Maverick names, I tell ya. Nevertheless, uh, Metal Shark Player's stage is pretty goddamn annoying as well because the entire level is like in this gigantic crusher machine. If you ever played classic Mega Man 4 and fought Dustman, you know how his stage is, And but that part was really short in comparison to this, where this is the whole level. The whole level is like this. For the first part of the level, you can use the ride armor to jam the crusher, and then you can just, like, casually go through the first part with no problem. However, that's the only ride armor, and you can't take it to the second part, which is even harder. So, yeah. That block to the left of me? That's not always there. That, again, is a nightmare effect. Sometimes the nightmare system just puts random blocks in your area, and it makes this level so much more annoying. I could have tried this level without the blocks, but, uh, yeah, I don't wanna. I wanna show this game's douchebaggery in all of its truest form, you know? It's retarded. Sometimes I'll play this level and I'll have those blocks, or I won't, and it's just like, WHY DOES THIS HAPPEN?! You have to be really quickly. Um, 
If you even, like, get stunned by an enemy, and then the thing crushes on you, it's still instant kill. It kind of reminds me of the spikes in classic Mega Man 1, where even though you just got hit, the minute you touch those spikes, you're instant dead, even though you have a, a brief invulnerability period. If you're stunned and then it got, the thing crushes you while you're stunned, you get crushed automatically and it's just instant kill. And it's not fun. I have died a lot to this bucket level. It is goddamn challenging. It'd be really speedy. And the worst part is, they always put those damn nightmare enemies in like the most awkward positions too. Like you'll see later, there's a hallway where like two nightmares are just hanging out in the middle of it, where you can where you can get crushed in. He reaches all the way to the bottom. Falcon Armor X does have a Giga Attack that you can press with the R2 button, but uh, it's not as useful as you see there, unless the white lasers flying through actually hit the guy. Um, you know, I just lost a Reploid there because the Giga Attack wasn't that great. And I can't shoot through walls. That's the one thing that really could have benefited from shooting through walls in this game. My god. Classic Mega Man can shoot through walls, and I love it. Mega Man X, he can't. There's the dick. If you took the time to stop and try and attack that nightmare, the thing would crush you and you would die. That is a dick move, X6. Don't put enemies in the middle of the hallway I'm trying to run through. Jesus. But I digress. It's great because they can hide where the crusher is, where you can't shoot them. And they can just constantly shoot lasers at you and stuff, and it's really tedious. Uh, at some points during this crusher level, if you actually bend down, because you have to bend down for some of them, if you're standing, you will get hit. Uh, if you bend down and then you let go of the down button, death, you die, instant kill. It's weird because in every other video game I've ever played that had a situation where you're being crushed by a ceiling or something, you can't go up. I would think it would be impossible, wouldn't you? If the thing was crushing down on you and you bent down to reduce the damage or whatever, and then it stops where you are, you can't stand up, can you? It's impossible to stand up. You're already crouched. So why the hell does it, if, if you let go of the down button, you just instantly die for no reason? Like here, don't let go of the down button ever, because you will die. It's retarded. I hate this stupid game. Oy. And yeah, I bet a lot of people are asking, why are you playing this game then, Clement? Why are you playing this game you hate so much? I said I would do the X series, and I almost died there. <laughs> I said I would do the X series, and this is no exception. I, I said I'd do it. I hate it to death, but I'll do it, goddammit. But I'm never doing a game I hate ever again. Never. I hate recording this stupid thing. I've died this level so many times. This is the only time I got through without dying. The luckiest run of my life. There's another hurt tank for X. I actually had to do three different playthroughs uh, because I could never get hurt tank to zero. The way I played my levels it seemed like Zero always got the shitty end of the stick, and, uh, you know. I prefer having that. If, if I normally play Mega Man X6, I'm only playing as Zero. Zero is my favorite character to use, and that's why. But anyway, here's a sub-boss. Basically, the sub-boss throws bombs and grenades at you, and you have to dodge them, and there are spikes on the left and right. They aren't instant kill, but they will damage you pretty good. In order to t kill the sub-boss, this little compartment comes down with six different colored cannons. Uh, purple cannons and blue cannons. The purple cannons are his weak spot. Kill the purple cannons, you kill the sub-boss. Not really a, a complicated boss fight. Uh, the Z-Saber will cut him down pretty damn easily. And uh, that's about it. But anywho... I shall see you in part 7 when we take on Metal Shark Player.